How is the stock grind of the Iranian F-14? Let's talk a little bit about it. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members and patrons. Make sure to subscribe. And we are here with the Iran-Iraq war loadout. Sparrows, AIM-9Ps and the AIM-54. To see how it is to fly these aircraft as a quote-unquote stock. Of course, it's not really stock if you use all these missiles, but... How it would be the stock grind of this aircraft? Is it bad or is it not bad? So uh, I decided to do a Ira and Iraq war kind of loadout, right? So we must fire our AIM-54s, of course. The Fakurs and the Sigils, they are way better than these things. They're way better. The, the, the R-27 is way better than the Sparrow. So it should be a pretty high difference between the older missiles and the newer missiles. I got a turn, man. I gotta turn. I don't know if there's a missile coming in. I couldn't manage to maintain a proper lock. Let's hope it, it's striking. There's a target right there. I don't think it's gonna hit. Yeah, it didn't hit. Where's this guy? Let's fire another one in here. The AIM-54, sometimes they are good, sometimes they are bad, you know how it is, right? The, the, the Sigils, especially the Fakur, it's a very good missile, I gotta say. S splash, yeah, nice. That was a good kill, actually, because very low flying target, right? You see a lot of MiG-23s, uh, like a lot, look at them. It, it feels like I'm, I'm literally on Iraq right now. Like, it's, it's the same aircraft that you would fight in an aircraft such as this back in the day right so it's fun as as you know as f <laughs> there's another one there this raider is always a good raider of course i'm blasting some iranian songs on my ears right now to keep me pumped <laughs> come on where's this target yeah there we go I might miss this one, but I just... I gotta shoot my M54. Uh, it's not very good to keep these missiles on. Especially when I'm this close to the target. Yeah, you're already firing on him. Probably gonna miss. Come on. Uh, you got him. Okay, so we got one there. And of course, now we have the Sparrows, which are very good for head-on shots like this. Oh, come on. It was going to hit him. My team is too efficient. It's too efficient. Is there anybody else there? There's one guy that is nowhere to be found. So, yeah, let's get to another match. This was too efficient. Allah really blessed us in this one. Here we go again, guys. And, yeah, it's... it's to be honest, the only thing that really differs from... A top loadout and this loadout is that you're gonna get a lot of less kills and you're gonna depend a lot on your team you know but the funny part is that this loadout is very very similar to the max loadout of the early f14 right so for example of course the aim 9 p changes itself for an h and aim 70 is an f which is a much better missile right but at the end of the day it's not that far from this, so it's funny that this aircraft has the worst loadout possible uh, like this in a situation where you're kind of like a... Oh, I fired on a missile, I think. I have to pay attention. Um, in a situation that it's just the worst loadout, it's very similar to the loadout that, um, that the missile had... Come on, go active missile, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna ignore that one. These ones can still... But you, you get it, what I'm saying, right? I'm trying to pay attention to 30 things at the same time. Why does... Like... <laughs> oh my god, the M54. I lost it, the, the thing for that. Like, for some reason the missile just didn't update itself. We can try to get this kill. It's kind of a very far away shot with an A7. Mm, I think I'm not gonna get that kill. 
Yeah, he's turning away. And no kills with the M54. You can clearly see the difference if you watched the video. Oh my god, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Come on. Oh, come on, Raider. How? I don't know what is the distance on that target. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that guy is dead already. Where did you come from? Extinguish the fire, yes! It's a very survivable aircraft, as you see. But I think I'm gonna die. Oh my god, yeah. Mm, this is not good. I don't have chaff anymore. I think I'm okay because the target got killed. It's a very survivable aircraft, but... What? What hit me? What? That was weird. Well, let's get to the last one. It, it's harder. It's a lot harder. You get a lot less kills. Ah, it's an M120. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Even for... Yeah, this aircraft is not really good with this stock loadout. You have to be careful. You can get kills, but it's... It's complicated. The Sparrow is kind of bad. You kind of don't have the the speed to fire the, the M9Ps at a, a proper range. It's kind of weird. Let's get to another one. And we are in the desert again, which is fitting, right? It really is fitting. Um, another fellow F-14 from Iran over here. They should add some other skins to these aircraft the, it would be fine to have it would be fun to actually have a imperial iranian air force skin as well they're a little tiny little bit different than some of the others that we have but yeah let's fire some of our our phoenixes of course i mean i got to some people complain about Spamming in 54s, um, and yeah, indeed, it might be a bad idea sometimes, but uh, the, the M54s, guys, they are made to do this type of engagement. If you use them in a situation that they are too, you know, um, flying too close to the target, they are not going to work too well. The objective is to maintain all the locks, as you see right there, and we should be fine to get at least one kill. So all the M54s got active, we can turn away a little bit. These RWR is very limited, so I gotta be careful with that. Yeah, one kill, okay. That's cool. Let's see if we can get another one. I think we're gonna miss the other ones. Yeah, the missile just doesn't have a lot of energy compared to the Fakur. It's crazy how an M54 becomes a low energy missile compared to something like the Fakur in the sigil. It's it's crazy, man. The difference is Oh my god, it's so it's so large, you know. It's it's really really big. Yeah, so the other ones I missed. I'm going to try to get this one. Mm, should have left another M54 to shoot at this guy. This would be a very very good target for an M54. Flying very high, you know. Doesn't know that I'm here. You wouldn't see the missile, maybe I am even at the blind spot of the RWR. So it would be a very, very fine kill. But we can get very close to it and fire an M70. Which is kind of fine as well. Should be fine. Let's start turning. Come on, you gotta kill me, it's the only thing that will save me, come on! Oh, come on. How did I, the, the sparrows, there's no, I, I was hoping for the sparrow to hit the target before my, 
before the, the, the Super 530 hit in me. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be, guys. It is a lot harder because you face the same enemies as you're supposed to be fighting with the Fakur and the Sigil, right? So it's funny. At stock, these aircraft will be hard to actually play. And I gotta say, uh, a lot of people will struggle with these aircraft at first. Especially, guys, especially because a lot of people don't have anything. You know, they don't have a fourth generation aircraft. They never flew an F-14 and they're gonna get this. A lot of people will fly like this. Uh, so it's a problematic aircraft for some people. But, um, you know, if I'm being honest, uh, focus on this line. If you're gonna grind it, uh, get the flares and chef and everything, right? The M9Ps and stuff, of course. Go for the M7E2. Go for the R27R. And focus on the Sigil and the Fakur. This will make you get a lot of kills. Especially the R27 together with the Fakur. It's the crazy good combination that you will get a lot of kills. Obviously, you're gonna get, get other stuff together over here. The G-Suit, always nice in a dogfight. Engine, wings repair, all of these stuff. EFS, as you saw, it saved me in one battle. So, um, it always helps, of course. Uh, leave the Yasser and the bombs obviously for last, right? But it is a hard aircraft when stock, I mean, <laughs> all aircraft are, <laughs> yeah, right? But you can still get kills, it's just that you're gonna get a lot less kills. If you saw my video flying with the best missiles of this aircraft compared to this, you see that it's a lot harder to get a lot of kills. You know, the AIM-54 is a way worse missile than the Fakur. And AIM-7s are way worse than the R-27. And of course, the AIM-9P is there, but honestly, you barely even use this because the matches are so quick. But uh, it's the same missile, but still. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the F-14 as a stock grind air uh, aircraft, you know, in, in the stock grind. And I will leave more videos, guys, to you uh, during the day, probably. I have to do some stuff right now, but still, I will do more videos on the F-14. If it's worth to keep it or not, my opinion on it, if it's good enough, everything like that. And uh, later, you know, so yeah, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.